Next up on WTV, a look at a new AP class, the deadline for senior ads, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Tuesday, November 19th, and I'm Sydney Andros with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. The ever-expanding list of programs offered by the district is about to get a bit bigger with parents and students having the chance to get some information on a new AP class and current program tonight at Memorial High School. WTV's Zane Romani has the story. FISD is holding an informational night for the AP Capstone program and the new AP Computer Science Principles course tonight at Memorial High School from 6.30 to 8.30. The AP Capstone program is a diploma program from the College Board. It's based on two-year-long AP courses, AP Seminar and AP Research. This program gives students an opportunity to hone their skills in research, analysis, evidence-based arguments, collaboration, writing, and presenting. Obviously it looks really good on like colleges and even if they don't like take those AP classes, it still like looks like you're challenging yourself and they know that you like you're good at time management and again it's just good for like life. AP Computer Science is already offered as a class, but the new AP Computer Science Principles class will differ, as it will take a big picture look at computer science. Reporting for WTV, this is Zane Romani. Time is running out for seniors that want to buy a senior ad in the yearbook. WTV's Ethan Ashmore has the story. The deadline for seniors and their families to buy senior ads is November 30th. A quarter page costs $140, a half page for $240, or a full page ad for $400. Pictures and messages can be included to the ad, but everything needs to be submitted by the 30th. Ads can be purchased at www.ball4.com. Anybody with questions can email yearbook advisor Kim Breen at breenk at friscoisd.org. Reporting for WTV, I'm Ethan Ashmore. There are many clubs students can choose to join, but few focus on one specific culture. WTV's Nathan Chin takes a look at one club that focuses on Japanese culture. The influence of the Japanese culture in America can be seen in things such as cars, anime, sushi, chopsticks, toothpicks, certain teas, and countless other products and foods. The point of the club is to share like Japanese culture with everyone and to have fun. We wanted like more people to know about Japan because there's not many people who are from Japan around this area, so yeah. Both co-presidents have Japanese heritage, which is why they started the club. To help teach club members about Japanese culture, the club mixes things up. We do, um, we do like Japanese games, we do some quizzes, um, just really fun things for learning about the Japanese culture. Anyone can just drop by and just learn about the Japanese culture, they can have fun. It's open to everyone. The Japanese Culture Club meets in the orchestra room every other Monday doing advisory. Reporting from WTV, this is Nathan Chen. On today's Sports Minute, WTV's Walker Shippey gives you a preview of tonight's basketball. Boys basketball plays their first game of the season tonight versus the Little Elm Lobos. Senior Micaiah Abi hopes that tonight's matchup helps build chemistry for the rest of the season. Um, the main thing is just building chemistry uh, with the new team. We got a younger team this uh, this year. Um, there's only five of us seniors, um, but we're, we're smaller than we have been. But um, that we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to play. We're going to play really aggressive. We're going to be pressing and all that. So right now we're just kind of building into our defense and and setting, a, setting up our defense for our offense, basically. The game takes place tonight at 7.15 at Little Elm. For WTV Sports, this is Walker Chippy. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Toastmasters Gavel Club meeting is today after school in room C-154. All Adopt an Angel gifts must be submitted to 2B teachers by advisory today for final collection. No late items will be accepted. There will be no open advisory today as students will remain in 2B classes for angel gift collection and presentation. Today's counselor session will cover the topics of ASFAB, which will be tested on campus on February 5th from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m as well as other training and educational benefits associated with the military. Seniors, if you have not taken a cap and gown photo, you will not be in the yearbook. Call Southern Images at 972-414-6884 immediately to book your free photo session. See Ms. Breen in C-147 if you have questions. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Cindy Andros for Wingspan TV.